challenges. I mean, we'll never be faced by never ch new challenges. Challenges are always going to be there. So we must be ready. Challenges and problems are part of life. They are not going to go away. Ours is it finding means and ways to solve them. Three, even if many people feel the past was better and that some people are hoping for the case that is in court to overturn things. Let me tell you, Malawians, there's no commodity that will go down. Those people that are going to come, they are going to say, Tons Alliance messed up everything, so fertilizer will remain at that price. Cooking oil will remain at that price because we need to rebuild the economy. And we are going to buy things very expensive. That is a political propaganda to lie to you. So that they cannot bring prices of commodities down. So fellow citizens, prices of commodities will continue rising up. What must we do? As a nation of doctors and professors, this was the time to ask ourselves, how can we strengthen our currency, the kwacha? How can we strengthen it? And Mugachunga must provide solutions, several solutions. Malawi can strengthen its currency through tourism. Our country is a, a special nation. If we were a government or if we were people who knows what to do, have connected roads all over the, the country, have infrastructure that attracts people, Malawi could rush into Rwanda in two years and in five years to be Qatar. So, let us strengthen our kwacha. Because when the kwacha become like Zambia kwacha, hundred the kwacha will buy everything. Which is not the case today. Even the currency itself, it's useless because there is 200 kwacha note, ah, 2,000 kwacha note. Which country has that money? 2,000 kwacha on paper. And it does not buy even chicken. Because the chicken today is 4,000. So, we need mindset change here. And I want to appeal to the government. Stop selfishness if you practice that. Come together with opponents. Come together with past leaders. Let's find a solution. Malawi has everything. Minerals alone can change our country in six months' time. Tourism alone can change our country in six months' time. We can have kwacha that is only hundred dollar. I mean hundred kwacha, a not. Maybe or so we can follow Zambia path. Buy a US dollar at sixteen. I'm told it's fifteen twenty three now. I just see the message. But you know what? Our kwacha is trading almost one thousand kwacha for one US dollar. Ninety nine plus one cents. All this is because of thinking capacity. <clears throat> we need to think seriously. Some people think that the case that is in court will overturn things. Professor Peter Mutaiko will come back as a president. Uh, Dr. Asaos Shim will come back as a vice president. So they hope that when these people come back in the government, prices of commodities will get down. I will prophesize, I'm not a pastor or a churchman. I'm a villager, I believe in my ancestors. This is a lie. We are cheating ourselves. Mind you, COVID-19 is being thought to last till 2025. This must tell us that we are not going to find easy life, but hardships after hardships. So as the, the book says, that there's no problem without a solution. This was the time for us to find solutions. So that when COVID hit us too much, we have something that we are selling. We have something that we are producing. We have something that we are manufacturing. So that money keep on coming. And our people don't get upset with us. Free advice. Five, let us know that the problems of today or yesterday are too small than the problems of tomorrow. Tomorrow's problem will be huge, more than the problems of today. Such is life. 
presidents or governments cannot end people's problems. They can just create conduc conducive environment for people to toil. Which we ask that if COVID-19 is going to be five years long with us, then open up economies. We can't survive. I'm talking about Africa, all African countries. We will not survive in five years of COVID if we don't change our mindset. Change how? We should read, read the trends. If there should be lockdowns, uh, 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 phase one, two, three, five, we must know that in five years, these lockdowns are going to kill our economies. And mind you, you in the government, Tonsi government, people are going to turn against you. They will not understand it's because of COVID. This is the reason why we need to find out what are we going to do in these five years when we are living with COVID-19 pandemic. This is the time we need a round table of all Malawians. Case in point, the song of Evans Merrick, Tata Zanja. If it was DPP government, automatically that musician could be locked, locked, down, locked up. If not, Petro bombed or killed. Go and ask the soldier of uh, Lucius Banda. He will tell you. His songs were burnt. He was hunted. That was DPP. At least today, Mr. Jaguila have left Evans Menega free. Has left uh, Bantu Santos Juma to speak freely. Has left uh, Habe Gondwe, Richard Mpepo, Ben Longwe to be free and speak. Seven. Tonsi government has also come with their faults and weaknesses, truly. But at least Eva Semenega, Charles Ben Longwe, Pepo are free to exercise their right to freedom of expression. Which is making us to also ask court to loosen up the conditions they gave, they gave Sylvester Namiwa. I will come with that in the MIVs. On social economic platform, sorry, we speak faster, some of us, we are born at night. On social economic platform, the Kwaja is falling deliberately so that prices of, of commodities must go up. Sometimes, governments should also look at their own tax that they put as levy. Because you should receive custom duty, you must receive excise, you must receive VAT, all that from, the, from, a, from a loaf of bread, all that from a, a bottle of oil, cooking oil. Then why, don't we, why shouldn't we expect prices to go up? So government that cares will reduce the level. Remove some of this level. Let custom duty to be and VAT. But any other bills, don't my add, add up. These are challenges that are not to go away, even if we go to election again, or replace the former president, uh, Mr. Mulu, Mr. Lazar Chagwela, i sorry, Dr. Lazar Chagwela and the Professor Peter, Peter Mutalik. Even if we replace them, prices are not going down. You have my word there, I'm telling you the truth, because I've traveled the world, I've never heard that prices have gone down. What I hear is the currency have uh, added value, and that is how prices go down. Because the currency and the commodities are at par. In our case in Malawi, Kwaja don't stand. Because it's now as good as useless currency. So everything is gone up. Because everyone wants to make a profit. Mindset number three. Mindset change number three. Thoughts are things. Whatever dreams of and whatever men wishes or think can be transmuted into something visible. I'll repeat, thoughts are things. First is the thinking. You think of what you want to do. Those are thoughts. But if you can work harder on that thought, your hands can produce it. I have a few examples. Thomas Edison, the person who invented a light bulb, after trying 2,000 times, 
he ended up he ended up